Hello and welcome back to another Outlaw Walkthrough. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through how to generate a document using FVDA. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first things first, you're going to want to navigate to wherever the section is you want to generate your document from. I'm in case summary. Obviously with um, FVDA, you can generate it basically from any section except for your built-in. So, you know, we have a widget in medicals, we have on a demands request, case summary, you know, even pleadings in motion. So basically you would go to where you want to generate that document. Um, and then you would also come up here and basically choose your template. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and jump into our medical section just because this one is a little bit more built out. But I'm going to basically come down here to my document generation. You can see here that I have the Outlaw Multi uh, template set up. So that means that basically any template that I connect in the back end of Outlaw here to um, the med section is going to show up here. You might also be seeing a different template generation, which could be just one of these locked down. Basically, it means you have to choose. There's only going to be one template tied to that widget. So depending on how you're generating, this might look a little different, but it's basically all the same. So you would come in here and you would want to select the document that you would like to generate. We're going to go ahead in here and we're going to select the medical authorization. Now for the file name, the great thing about um, Outlaw versus DocGen or anything like that is that you can actually give it a customized file name. So maybe I want to call this the medical authorization for my client up here, Harry Potter. So I can go ahead and add that in. Something you may or may not see on your end is this client, which is basically a contact fill-in from FileVine. The reason I'm seeing this on my document that I'm generating now is because on the back end, I have the signature block enabled. If I have that enabled, I basically have to denote here who is going to be signing that document, right? So that's what I would be filling in here for client. If you don't have that on your end when you're generating it, it just means that you don't have the signature block enabled or a party set up in your document, which is totally fine. You don't really need to have that enabled. This is just an extra layer that you can do. If you don't have this, you'll just be able to hit the generate. If you wanted to go ahead and fill this in and give it, you know, the client, it, it's really nice. You can search here for the client that's in FileVine, and then you could input them and hit generate. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it blank because we don't need to have them sign in this step. And this is just a demo. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit generate. All right, so this has generated. I can see my document here. I'm going to go ahead and click. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can do a split screen here, or if you would rather hide your data behind there, you can actually drag this over. So just depending on your workflow and your needs, you could go ahead and do that. You can see now all of my fields are pulling in with data. So in case you were wondering, these are all the codes that I coded in. You can see when I cancel out of that view, we have live data pulling in. So a good way to understand if these are variables versus just text that we have here, like this is text, there's no variables, is that you can kind of see this dotted line underneath there. I kind of zoom in a little bit. And it kind of is blue underneath there. You can also click into that section and it'll show you the codes from where that's pulling from. So that's a really nice option there. Basically at this step, if you wanted to, we would now be sending this out to the client to sign. If you're not getting a signature from your client, this would then move to, you know, kind of the done phase here. And you would be able to either export this if you wanted to, um, to send it out, or you can go ahead and share with your parties over here as well. Something else you might want to do if you are generating this document, maybe you have something you need to edit in here, you can always click in and you can make edits. If I turn off red line here, I can freely type and make edits. This will only update this document, not the entire template. If you need to change the template, you would want to do that back in the back end of Outlaw. I can also propose changes through here. So maybe I want to delete this or maybe get a second opinion. I can do that. You can see it redlines it and basically makes a suggestion, but doesn't actually do it. And then you can also notify people if you would like of these changes. So anybody that is on here as a document user would get those. The last thing that you can also do is you can come over here and comment. Um, and... 
when you make that comment, anybody that is over here as a document user is also going to be getting those notifications. So you can kind of edit everything in here. You don't have to have separate email chains going back and forth. You can just come here and you know make your changes here. But that is the basics on how to generate a document in FVDA. So I hope this is helpful.